Ready. You ready to fight? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Amir Khan. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big leg kick lands. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Short. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with that right hand. Jig and kick. Real quick leg kicks. Oh, a nice slip, and then the counter finds its home. So really starting to put it all together on the feet. And as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Just over three minutes now to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a takedown. Midway through round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom, nicely done by Amir Khan. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Be first, be first. Try to establish that jab. Good combination there by Amir Khan. Ooh, big shot land. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Choi's shot is blocked. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Straight to the body by Amir Khani. Straight right hand now just misses. Right hand punch the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And then he throws it over here. He blocks the punch. Straight right, he misses. Nice. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice job avoiding the damage from that elbow. 
Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What an end to round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, that's a nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. How about that shin? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, Superman punch. Beautiful hook. Very nice leg kick there by Amir Khan. Choi's shot there is blocked. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Lands with a right hand. Got clip with a right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just over three. Massive kickdown. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. <laughs> Amir Khani's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Arch right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice straight punch. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Amir Khan. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Straight punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he 
continues to work the body here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Choi's got a... Wow. This is exactly what he needed. To get a takedown and secure the position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guards. Half guards suck, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, big punch lands. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. They continue to exchange. Oh, single collar tie here. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Pretty good right hand. Uppercut there blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice punch lands over the top. He lands the head kick. Taken down here by Short. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Amir Khani's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this short. Oh! Never looked this good. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked.
Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Choi gets hit with a kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Oh, he lands another punch there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it, champ. Kick to the body by Amir Khani. Punch over the top. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, collar tie. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice jab. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here, that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Let's go. Get on first, Trying to kick the leg out. Good stick. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Doubling up on the jab. Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go here! That's a big strike right there. Choi's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Right idea, poor execution. The counter right, no good. Oh, he's hurt. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout.